All right, here we want to turn cosines into tangents. Uh, we also have some sum and difference stuff going on. So I'm going to start by using our sum and difference identities for cosine. Just got to remember that negative as we go along is going to stay out front. So we've got the cosine of alpha plus beta, which is the cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, plus cosine that's a minus, isn't it? Because cosine is contrary. Minus sine alpha sine beta. And on the bottom, we have our difference identity, which is the cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus opposite of that, right? Sine alpha and beta. Okay, so now what can we do to turn any of this into tangents? Well, we do have some sines, and if we take our sines and we divide by cosines, we will have tangents. So as long as we do something to everything that doesn't change the value of our expression, uh, that's perfectly fine. What if we were to take and multiply everything by 1 over cosine alpha cosine beta on both the top and the bottom. That means we would actually be multiplying by a value of 1, and we're not changing the value of the expression. Okay, so doing that, we would get cosine alpha cosine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta, because we're actually multiplying that cosine alpha cosine beta by 1 over cosine alpha cosine beta resulting in this. Then we would have sine alpha sine beta over cosine alpha cosine beta, because we multiplied our sine alpha sine beta by 1 over cosine alpha cosine beta. Then we have the denominator cosine alpha cosine beta over cosine alpha cosine beta. Again, we're multiplying by 1 over cosine alpha cosine beta. And then we have plus sine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta. So simplifying that whole thing, we get 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta because our sines over cosines turn into tangents and then can I just move that line I put it in a bad spot nope the whole thing is one whole thing so let me redraw that so tangent beta over this again turns into one and then this again turns into tangent alpha tangent I feel like we're almost there. If we look at our results, we've got the denominator already, and the numerator is just switched around. I just remembered that we have this negative that's been following us. We can't let go of that. So if we actually take our numerator and we multiply by that negative, that will turn our numerator into negative 1 plus tangent alpha tangent beta. And if we switch directions on that, we get positive tangent alpha tangent beta minus 1 over the denominator stayed the same 1 plus tangent alpha tangent beta and that is our right hand side we got it